Hello, welcome back to my channel. It's Heidi Francis here, and I hope you all are doing well. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing some of the DIYs that you will not see me doing on this channel. Just for the sake of those who don't know, I now own a natural hairline called Adani Dead, and that is not the reason for this video. I'm not saying I'm not gonna do this DIYs because I have a professional hair care line. No, it's because of some signs and some discomfort that comes with some of these DIYs. For those of you who are just viewing me for the first time, when I started my natural hair journey over two years ago, I was the queen of DIY. There is no particular DIY that I did not do. I was, I didn't even jump on the bandwagon. I was the band. You get it? <laughs> I was the band. So let's just go right into this video. But before we do that, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, do well to subscribe. Click the red button so that you'll be notified anytime a new content like this drops in this channel. And um, don't forget to let me know your thoughts, some of the DIYs that you no longer be doing on your hair. And let's just get started. Okay, so the first on the list is the African Black Soap Shampoo. When I started my natural hair journey, I used to melt African Black Soap shampoo in water, add some, do my own concussion, add some water add anything i feel like adding and i used it to wash my hair but after i attended a uh, professional a formula cosmetic formulation course on hair care i discovered that african black soap has a very high ph and it could have a negative impact on our hair that's why i decided to discontinue using the african black soap shampoo number two is egg oh my god if you've ever applied raw egg on your hair you are the real mvp hands down man jesus christ i can't even imagine it apart from the fact that according to research again the protein structure in in eggs are rather too large and it, that it can't penetrate into our, our hair. Having to apply raw egg on the air on your hair and washing it in the shower, it just be. I mean, it's just nauseating. A thought of it is is so. I mean, it brings me a lot of discomfort. Do you understand? So you won't catch me applying raw egg on my hair again because. The discomfort and if you even make a mistake of using warm water maybe you forgot you forgot it happens you apply and you use warm water to wash your hair you will be having something close to scramble egg on your hair and it might take you a long time to wash that shit <laughs> off so I'm not going to put myself through that kind of stress. I'm a grown woman now, so I can't be bothered applying egg on my hair. Never, ever again. <laughs> so the third one is the red palm oil that we use in cooking majority and if not all our foods in Nigeria. Jesus Christ. When I applied that palm oil on my hair, I think maybe two years or one year ago, washing, it gave me extra work to wash it off my bathroom. Like after washing my hair, I just had to start cleaning my bathroom for the next one hour. Sweetheart, I no longer have such time. And no matter the kind of benefits the applying red palm oil directly will have on my hair like even only to make my curls to be popping and make my hair to be long overnight i am not ready for such stressed 
anymore i can't stress my bathroom i can't stress myself i rather use the oil to cook and get the benefits from within than to do what apply it directly on my hair and have to suffer thereafter then for the diy that i will definitely continue to use on my hair is the ayurvedic hair max i will hair max hair gloss i will not stop using that on my hair because it has really helped my hair and the hair of most other people that i know think there's this proven even if it's not there's this proven uh, result that you see when you apply ayurvedic hair max on the hair for me it is comfortable even though it takes a lot of time and a lot of water to wash it off the uh, i mean your hair and your bathroom i will still continue to use the ayurvedic hair max on my hair my favorite being moringa because moringa as we all know in case you don't know it is a miracle plant and it has it is one of the richest plants god created yet and it has a lot of benefits both consuming it orally and even applying it topically on your hair or on your skin so i will not stop doing my ayurvedic hair mask because it has really helped my hair oh my god oh my god there is particular diy that i did for my hair on my is on my youtube channel currently and it was drinking the moringa powder for hair growth since i actually read that moringa has a lot of helpful benefit for the hair i went ahead and drank this moringa juice oh my god <gasps> And you know the funniest thing? I was not even at home. That thing gave me what we popularly call it. It gave me diarrhea. And I was in public place. I had no idea. I was like, what did I eat? What did I eat? Then my mind flashed back to the Moringa powder that I drank. I even drank it in excess. That that was the reason I was having diarrhea. So for that particular reason i never ever will i ever try such an extreme remedy all in the name for me to grow my hair never you won't catch me doing that again <laughs> oh my god oh god it was crazy so instead of me taking oral orally taking moringa powder for my hair i did rather cook a moringa soup and eat it which i have done it so many times and i think i'm gonna show you guys how to prepare the moringa soup for maximum benefit not only for the hair but for the entire body because as i mentioned earlier moringa is one of the most nutritional nutritious nutritional nutritious nutri what plant that god has created so i'm just gonna show you guys how you can make the moringa soup sorry if you are in the u.s or some countries you might not have access to the fresh moringa leaves but here in nigeria is everywhere in the street corner like nobody owns it so you just pluck it and use it to make your own soup the last and definitely not the least is fenugreek powder jesus christ i almost passed out when i tried fenugreek powder on my hair this is just because i cannot withstand the taste or the aroma of raw beans which is exactly how um fenugreek powder smells like raw beans after trying the thing on my hair i i felt a lot of discomfort just because of the aroma that alone made me to say fenugreek powder topically on my hair it is an absolute no 
I'm not ever going to try that again on my hair. So these are basically some of the DIYs that I will never try on my hair and the DIY I will definitely try on my hair. You know that some of the DIYs I'm not ever going to try. So let me know some of the DIYs that you have tried and you made up your mind and said, wow, this is not for me. I'm not going to try this anymore. I really want to hear from you in the comments sections. If my decision or actually impacted on you, I also want to know that in the comment section down below. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please make sure you click the red subscribe button and the bell that is just right beside it so that you will always be notified anytime I post another video on this channel because I am coming with more more hair videos to understand um the next video i don't know whether that's gonna be the next video i'm going to show you how to do the hot oil treatment for maximum benefit a lot of people have been doing the hot oil treatment wrongly the last time i did hot oil treatment on my hair i mean i my hair felt alive for a very long time so i'm going to be sharing that on my channel if you want to know how i did it all you need to do is just to subscribe and I am in a new apartment. I'm going to be doing my house tour. So if you want to see my house tour, you need to subscribe. I'm going to be giving you tips is in case you are living in Abuja or you're living in Nigeria or you're even thinking of relocating to Nigeria. I'm going to give you tips on or even thinking of moving up your parents' house. I'm going to give you tips on how you're going to go about that, where to buy your stuff because I went through a whole lot and I believe that my experience is something that one can learn from do you understand what i mean and um apart from that this is where i'm definitely gonna end this video on until another time when i will come your way my name is Ida francis do not forget to subscribe yes if you want to buy hair product from me i'm going to leave all the details in the description box so that you can go check that out thank you and bye bye